Hello, I'm the BX Toy Cat, and welcome back to the video. Today, I want to answer a fun question. I actually see a surprising amount in comment sections of other videos uh, that is to do with where exactly Minecraft is. Because obviously, when you look at Minecraft, you can see it's vastly different to the real, you know, world that we all inhabit. You know, the Earth that we know today. And although the easy answer to this is like, oh, Minecraft's in this fictional reality where you know creepers make sense, and that's like that. However, that's kind of a boring answer to me. That feels like kind of avoiding the question. I figured why not try at least the very hardest we can to work out exactly where Minecraft is, what you know, kind of pl a place it takes place on, and exactly the details of this world and how that fits into our universe that we know today. And I figured, why not give that a try? Hopefully you all do enjoy it. So like if you do, because it helps out the channel a lot, and let's know you do enjoy these slightly more lighthearted videos, and uh, yeah, you're gonna learn some facts about how Minecraft would exist as a real world thing. And let me just start by saying that this, yes, is all theoretical, but it is uh, all based on my, my loose understanding of science, and hopefully you'll enjoy the video regardless, and uh, you don't take it too seriously. But with that said, let's get straight into it, and let's start the first, you know, kind of easy answer as to where Minecraft is, because if we can conclude that it's not uh, based on planet Earth, it's clearly not, because it's much bigger, it's on a very different, you know, like shaped and sized and working out world uh, than what we can, and also all the mobs and all that sort of stuff. You can conclude that Minecraft is not taking place on planet Earth, which means it's another planet somewhere in space. So that's an easy enough thing to say. You can be like, oh yeah, the Minecraft world is 3.6 billion kilometers squared, that's its surface area, therefore it must just be a bigger planet in some form of other solar system because it doesn't match any of ours. Easy as that, right? However, the thing that kind of stops me being a true theory, you know, the Minecraft world can't be a sphere like the Earth because of two different reasons. And the first one is to do with the fact that the Minecraft, uh, you know, world can be projected onto a square. The real world, you know, the map that we all know and love and we've seen a bunch, you might think, oh yeah, that's kind of like a square too, so I guess that makes sense as well. However, you know, the Mercator projection that is used to create this is actually inaccurate. The real world map is horribly distorted if you try to follow it like a real map. Eventually it starts to break down, which is why there's a bunch of weird things like, you know, time zones work weirdly at the top and at the bottom, and there's also stuff like, um, you know, flight paths, you always know you fly over like Greenland to go from the US to the UK. It's not because, oh yeah, we're just flying really inefficient routes, it's because the Earth is actually a sphere, you can't project it onto it, you know, like a, a perfectly square or rectangular 2D plane because, again, it's, it, it just won't work that way. There's a bunch of different ways you can project it, but it doesn't work into an exact square like the Minecraft world does. And the second issue of having, you know, Minecraft be like a planet is the fact that when you, uh, you know, when you go upwards into Minecraft, you never really hit space eventually, but when you go downwards, you hit uh, the void, which is very, very similar to, you know, kind of space in that, you know, you start dying instantly because you start choking to death. Uh, you also, like, can go forth infinitely and you'll just keep on going that way. And it just seems a lot like going downwards leads you to space rather than upwards, which would lead you to believe that not only does the Minecraft world face inwards, I mean that's the only way you can conclude that there's space below you rather than above you, but also that it's a cylinder it's a cylinder and not a sphere, because it's either going to be that or it's going to be just an entirely flat plane, and the idea of a flat, you know, like a planet just doesn't make too much sense, you know, it would be entirely destroyed by gravity, but a, a cylinder you can just about, you know, kind of make sense of, and you can just by like two of the ends meeting, because you can never really entirely confirm that when you, if you did, it could go past the world border somehow, it might just lead you to the other side. So there might just be this one big border that separates the world from being connected on both sides, and that's why the world seems like it's flat all the way around, because it's kind of like how, you know, gravity works on Earth, it seems like it's flat as you go around it, despite the fact that it's a sphere, and that could be the way that, you know, the Minecraft world works to make a cylinder. So we know all the details of the cylinder, again, it would have 3.6 billion square kilometers, so we can kind of accurately predict how this would look, and uh, that's kind of interesting by itself, but then we can also work out some stuff, such as what the area around it in space would look like, and its sun, and its moon, etc, because you'll notice how it has one sun and one moon, exactly like the Earth. Fun fact, by the way, uh, the Earth is very unique for only having one, uh, you know, moon around it. Most planets seem to have zero or like a lot more, at least in terms of size. But yeah, so, so basically uh, we can tell that the, is, there is one moon in um, terms of Minecraft, because you can only ever see one at, one at once. And then we can also conclude that there is a single sun, which obviously most solar systems, but the interesting thing about this single sun is the fact that, that because there is no lengthening of the day-night cycle, which is something you actually just about experience in the real world if you live near the equator, because the equator, you're like at the very middle of the Earth, so like, you know, the, uh, the amount of like uh, sun time you get per day, it varies by very little, and it's essentially the same. So if you're on the very equator, you can say, oh yeah, that's why the day-night cycle is exactly the same, but you'll notice how the day-night cycle is exactly the same year round, or, you know, year in big air quotes, around in Minecraft, uh, despite where you are in the world, which makes me think that instead of it being like an equator-based issue, the amount of time it takes for the, uh, you know, the Minecraft world to go around the sun is exactly the amount of time that it takes for it to spin around itself. So, yeah, picture this, uh, you know, Minecraft world, you know, pipe-shaped, uh, that's spinning around on itself, it taking exactly 20 minutes to do so, and it's also spinning around the sun in its solar system, taking the exact same amount of time to do that, which is why the daylight sun... Uh, cycle never lengthens. Again, that's an overly complex way to describe a relatively simple problem, but it does actually make uh, entire sense, and in the same way, this means the uh, moon must be rotating at the exact same speed, and although you might think that's a lot of crazy coincidence, isn't it? Well, I mean, when you think about it, in the real world, the fact that the Earth takes 365.24, I think it is, uh, you know, days to rotate around the uh, sun, uh, despite taking only 24 hours to rotate on its axis, those are two coincidences. There's no, like, actual thing linking those two facts up, so the fact that this happens isn't like this, uh, you know, crazy thing where it's impossible because of X reason or Y reason, it just happens
happens to be a coincidence that they go around at the exact same time, as well as the lunar cycle apparently going around the exact same time as well, which is why everything in Minecraft kind of makes sense that way. So, uh, yeah, the interesting thing about this moon, though, is not just the fact that it goes around the Minecraft world every 20 minutes and creates the, you know, day-night cycle, which is somewhat reminiscent of the way you see on Earth, but it's also the fact that the moon might just be the end dimension. So that sounds really crazy on the surface, like the end is the moon, but think of it this way. The end is this island floating in the sky. You know, it's not exactly like, a, you know, a, a sphere like you might expect, but you can't actually ever see the entirety of the moon from the Minecraft world, so the fact that it's roughly circular does just about add up there. And then think about the surface of the end and how similar that is to, like, moon rock. And again, that might be something that's intended, it might not be. Uh, but to me, at least, I kind of see this being the exact same thing, where you fall off the end, you fall into the void, which is space, which is the same thing you get when you dig outside the planet. And that is, uh, you know, the logic behind why there is the same void with the exact same effects when you fall out of your world by digging down. Again, you can only do it on PC, but if you fall out of your world, you know, you ch start choking to death and dying that way. And also when you fall off the end, and also why both of those are infinite. You can fall down literally tens of millions of blocks into the void if you can somehow survive, but you'll never end up anywhere because you're just trapped into space. The vacuum of space, the crazy enough of that. And to me, at least that's pretty crazy. So yeah, as far as every other detail of how the, uh, you know, the Minecraft uh, world happens to be slightly similar, but be very different. Think about the biomes, you know, it has loads of microclimates, which spawn very different animals. Uh, that's kind of how, like how the real world works, just on a much smaller scale. And also just think about every mob existing in Minecraft as being an entirely different species. And that kind of, uh, you know, explains why there happens to be zombies, why there are ocelots, but they're very different to real world ones. And all these sorts of weird facts about how Minecraft mobs have kind of similarities to the real world, but also being very different at the same time. This is because it just happens to have some Earth-like qualities that, you know, breed life, but it's also very different in terms of its shape, in terms of its daylight uh, day-night cycle, in terms of its lunar cycle, in terms of its year cycle, all that sort of stuff is very different. And that is uh, why I think that Minecraft is in space. Anyway, I hope you did enjoy this video. Again, honestly, you know, I, I don't know how much Notch did think about this. I want to believe that he did come up with all of this in his head and he was just like, aha, someday, someone will one day get it. And if so, then aha, I got it. But no, um, yeah, basically, uh, this is everything uh, you need to know about where Minecraft is. I hope you did enjoy this video. Um, like if you liked it, because it helps out the channel a lot. Let us know you did like it. Share if you really liked it. And subscribe if you're new around here, because I make videos like this one every single day on my channel. And if subscribed, you'll see them daily on your homepage. Thank you all very much for watching, and I will see you all in the next one. Oh, also, a uh, fun little fact. Uh, every single day in Minecraft is a year. So you can say you've been playing Minecraft for years, even if you got it yesterday. Anyway, uh, I'll see you all next time. Goodbye.